<laughs> okay, so Brad Pitt is reportedly in an open relationship with his new girlfriend. Mm-hmm. As we told you, Brad has been spotted with German model Nicole Podorowski. Well, now Page Six is reporting that she's been married to German restaurateur for eight years. Yeah, they do have a son that they share together, but apparently her husband is okay with his wife dating Brad. Oh, is he? Yeah. <laughs> He's okay with that, huh? Yeah, he is. I don't think he has a choice in the matter. Why? Because it's Brad Pitt. Jeff, Jeff, uh, I'll, I'll just say this, bro. <laughs> I, I, you can think that way, but we covered a story <laughs> last Bless week. Uh, I'm not at liberty to say what story it was, but uh, it seems like there's some couples that might be into this. What are you talking about? Why are you being so incognito? Yeah, Liberty University, what? Jerry Falwell. Oh. oh, you don't have to be incognito about How that. How did we you not get that brilliant tongue-in-cheek reference? <laughs> I was thinking more oh, celebrity. I get it. Oh, Liberty, at Liberty. Yeah, we dropped Good the ball out. on Sorry. that one. We dropped Sorry. it. Ouch. <laughs> Uh, but now listen, do what they, whatever works for them works. I know I could not have that. If like my husband was having a relationship with like somebody young and gorgeous, like let me, like that model, I would die. I could not handle it. Could you have No, of course not. No. Well, Before some you even people can't. No, you can't. Some not with Brad Pitt can. or Leonardo DiCaprio. Like these are like the top of the food chain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like that one's got to sting a little bit for the restaurant tour. Who calls themselves him. a restaurant tour anyway? I have I'm a bunch of buddies who own restaurants. I've never heard that word. So easy. Brad Pitt's got your chick. <laughs> <laughs> Albert, sorry, sorry. could you, let's say, Albert, you're, you know, I think this, this restaurant tour is 68 years old, so perhaps he's come to a time in his life where he's just like, listen, if I'm happy, she's happy, Brad's happy, it's all good. Do you think you could ever reach a time in your life where you would be able to have an open relationship or no? Sam, I mean, I'm going to use a baseball reference for this. Uh, you know, there's a point in your career where you can still hit, but then, you know, you need a pinch runner once you get on first base. They bring in a younger guy that can do the rest of the running for you, if you know what I mean. And I think the 68-year-old, he might just be looking for a companion. I think that that's what a lot of people forget. Uh, there, I think asexual relationships uh, or slightly asexual relationships or lo low sexual relationships, they, they make up a lot of relationships, but that doesn't mean that that's your whole relationship. A lot of times it's just companionship and having somebody to experience life with. So if you're not interested in the sex part, you're probably fine point. with them going out and finding somebody to satisfy that. That's a good point. And you know, if mama has a headache, bring in... <laughs> What do, what do you think? Bring he's just my backup. He's just like hanging out in a closet. What are you bringing the backup? <laughs> That's a good point, Al. Jeez. That's a good point. Coming this up, story went down a weird path. Coming up on DVL, sometimes you just have to.